Hello and welcome to the Preserving History and Democracy podcast on the Doniana County Clerk's Office podcast channel. My name is Caroline Zamora and I'm the Chief Deputy County Clerk. Joining me today is my co-host, Cynthia Mendoza. And today we're going to be talking about election updates. We are... When is this episode going to air, Jacob? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh my God, yeah. it's fast. Okay, so we are, what, 33 days away from... Yes. Um election day yeah and so lots of things happening Mm -hmm. um tomorrow is october 3rd um so let's just go ahead and jump right into updates yeah so i mean early voting starts literally in less than five days or five days a few days away less than a week yeah so it's approaching quickly yeah lots of things happen on that day which is october 8th Mm -hmm. early voting will start that day also the um voter rolls will close Mm -hmm. Um, and that just means that we won't be entering um, voter registrations. Right. However, New Mexico still has a really great option for voters. We're very voter friendly. And you can still do same day registration Absolutely. once um, early voting starts. Same day registration. We'll go ahead and run through that real quick before we get into more updates. Same day registration is exactly what it says. You register and you vote on the same day. Yeah, you can't come back. You yeah. can't say, okay, well, I'll be back and come yeah, and Yeah, you can't come no. do your registration, <laughs> you know, registration with us real quick and then leave and then come back. Yeah. So. Can't do that. You have to do your registration and the vote. You have to do it um, same day. Absolutely. We always tell people to be prepared to kind of be there for a little bit just to get everything figured out and then, yeah. of course, you're voting. So yeah. and early so, voting is um, a great time to do that. Yes, if you have to utilize same day registration, so you're not able to update your registration um, until the 8th, like for mm-hmm. some reason you can't get to our office, you can't go to nmvote.org. Right. If for some reason you have to do same day registration, plan to be here for at least an hour. Mm-hmm. You're going to need some um, identifying information right. like a government photo ID mm-hmm. and a like a utility proof of residence. Bill. Yeah. Yes, a proof of right. residence document, so like a utility bill. Um, something that proves that you live where you say you live. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, again, utility bill, something like that. Um, a bank statement. Mm-hmm. Um, a rental agreement. A rental agreement would work. Um, and then, of course, a government-issued um, ID. Yes. Or if so, you're a student, you can also bring your student ID. Yes. So Yep. Yep. You have some options there. You do. So that's same-day registration. But now let's go ahead and jump into other really important dates. So like we said, early voting is going to start on October 8th. That's also the day that the voter rolls will close and same-day registration will begin. Early voting on October 8th is going to start here at the government center. Right. And so here in Doniana County, you can come to the government center um, between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. are normal business hours. Mm-hmm. Um And that will be until November 1st. Yes. Yes. November 1st. Um, On October 19th is another important day. Yeah. That's when all the other early voting sites open. Right. Let me uh, run through those sites. So October 19th, like Caroline said, uh, the Anthony Public Library opens for early voting, as well as the Chaparral Community College um, in Hatch. You can go to Hatch Valley Public Schools Student Services slash Training Center. And you can also go here in Cruces. Uh, there's the Corbett Center Student Union, Doniana Community College, and East Mesa, and of course Las Cruces City Hall. If you're voting early in Mesilla, you can go to the Mesilla Town Hall. And if you want to vote early in Sunland Park, you can go to the Doniana County Community College in Sunland Park. So there's quite a few options all around Doniana. You know, I really love um, how voter friendly New Mexico is. We have 28 days of early voting. Yeah. Um, there are several states, two states that I know of, um, for sure. It's Mississippi and Alabama that do not have early voting. Yeah, so you can only vote that day. So you if your have kid election gets day. Sick and if something. you're sick, if your boss doesn't let you out of work, yeah. um, if I, if anything happens, you're not voting that election. Yeah, which is unfortunate. It I is think unfortunate. we should have as many people vote as possible, which is why I love New Mexico. We're so I voter agree. friendly. I agree. We have 30. What, 28 days of early voting yes. like you have so, so many opportunities so many sites like we have of course um when those alternate early voting sites open mm-hmm. like they're throughout the entire county right um and then also we also have absentee yes which i think is a really great tool we also now have the permanent absentee list now absentee is just the word that we use for a mail ballot mm-hmm. um 
And so we also have nine drop boxes throughout the county. And so you can see a map of all the drop boxes if you go to DACelections.com. Um, and when you sign up for an absentee ballot, now you can mark the little check, the little box right. that says permanent absentee, and you will continue to get your ballots for every election um, by mail, and you don't mm -hmm. have to ask for for your mail ballot every election. Right, you don't have to do it every year. I know, now it's just like permanently done. My mother-in-law was so excited about it. She, just, she doesn't like to really go out and do stuff so mm -hmm. she just likes to stay home and vote there and meant send her mail or her ballot back in and she's good yeah so. and so i've talked to folks who like love getting their ballot because they're able to like really um you know do their research yeah. on who they want to vote for and kind of yeah. take their time um and really be really thoughtful and methodical about the whole process right. um, and so they love being able to just do the mail ballot yeah um also those secure containers um i mean they they have 24-hour monitoring they have weather mon monitoring um they're more secure than mailboxes i agree so i always tell people it's like you know you turn in your taxes and you mail <laughs> things in those regular mailboxes and your ballot is going into a much more secure yeah secure container yeah there's like a camera on it and everything yeah. a sensor that yep. tells us we get the email saying it was open email. it was closed yep so, yep yeah, it's pretty secure absolutely and so if you ever want to drop off your um absentee ballot you can drop it off at one of the secured containers you could just mail it to us that's totally cool cool um the postal service um is really like the amazing technology behind the postal service and right. election mail is so impressive right um you'll see that uh, election um, I believe it says election mail and it's a specific yeah. logo mm -hmm. and it's a postal service logo so that the postal service knows that this is important election mail. Yes. And it like, it, it, it's, it's amazing what the postal service does. Yeah. Anyway, so you can go ahead and mail it to us. You can <laughs> drop it off as one of the secure containers during early voting. You could drop it off at any of the early voting sites mm -hmm. on election day. You can drop off your mail ballot at any of the sites. Mm -hmm. As long as we have, your mail ballot your absentee ballot by 7 p.m on election night we're going to yeah, yeah and it's valid and everything checks out everything's good it's going to be counted absolutely so long story short it has to be to <laughs> us by 7 p.m on election night yes and speaking of absentee applications if you do want to apply for an absentee application that needs to be turned in by october 22nd so Make sure you turn that in on time. Yep, you can do that at nmvote.org. Yes, nmvote.org. We need to get that application in um, because we have to mail your ballot back mm -hmm. out to you. Yeah, we and need give some you, time. And give you <laughs> enough time to get it back to us. Yes. So that's why you have until October 22nd to fill out that application for your absentee um, ballot. Now, the next really Im important date is November 2nd, and that's when early voting ends, right. uh, which is a Saturday and um it's also the last day to submit an application for our federal um either military civilians overseas mm -hmm. ballots so we if you want to get in that application if you are um, serving overseas if you're a civilian overseas and you still want to get your ballot that is the last day to get your application to us um, turned in is november 2nd and you can go to fvap.gov if really you're doing cool this yeah seeing like where people are applying from we, we it get is the emails, fun isn't it yeah and some are from like poland from the united kingdom mm -hmm. like there's some Germany, pretty cool places yeah yeah so i'm yeah. like we've gotten wow. quite a few i'm really excited to yeah. see how many we've gotten for overseas me too we've seen a lot um okay so that's november 2nd last day of early voting um and then the big day we which call is it the like super bowl we call here. it the super bowl here <laughs> Uh, the primary election is like draft day, <laughs> but Super Bowl is a big general election right. day for us, um, especially in a presidential year. Yeah, it's a big year. So Super Tuesday, November 5th, polls will be open. All the polling locations, all the sites will be open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. As long as you are in line by 7 p.m., you will be allowed to vote. Right. Um, we anticipate high turnout on election day. Um, so my recommendation is to get in early voting yes because we anticipate a lot of folks out here voting on election day so there are 42 sites you can see the full list we have a really great map a great interactive mm -hmm. map on our website so you can also see whichever polling site is closest to you um, but you can see all 42 sites on our website dacelections.com right i also want to talk about 
more ways that New Mexico is voter friendly. Mm -hmm. One of those ways is you can vote at any location within your county that right. you're registered in, which is really awesome. convenient. Yeah. There, there's a reason we call them voting convenience centers mm -hmm. because they're incredibly convenient. Exactly. Um, so you can live in Hatch, work in Las Cruces, and vote in Las Cruces. Yeah, you don't have to drive all the way to Hatch to go cast yeah. your ballot. Yeah, pretty, you don't. Yeah, right. exactly. You don't have to vote at the precinct that's right next to your house. You can vote at the precinct that's next to your office in Las Cruces. Or maybe you have to be in work that day in mm -hmm. Anthony, and you're like, you know what? There's a voting center right here. And yeah, you can go walk in and vote. Come up to us at the farmer's market last time we were doing it, and they said that where they're from. I forgot what state they said they were from, but you have to vote in your area so you can't like your sign yeah and so that's it's sounds pretty horrible to me because what if you live across town you have yeah. to drive all the way back to your voting convenience center mm -hmm. to to go vote which is unfortunate yeah here it's so much easier and i think it's what makes it so great is that we have um new mexico has a bod which mm -hmm. is ballot on demand right so we don't do any pre-printed ballots no pre-printed ballots we do not print your ballot until you request it right so when you're standing in front of us and you're like i'm here to vote um, you identify yourself and then we print your ballot that is specific to you, yeah. the precinct that you live in, things like that. Um, awesome. So no pre-printed ballots. So that's why you're able to go to any of the voting locations in right. the county because we do the print on demand. I love ballot it. On demand. Yep. Um, I also want to talk about seeing your sample ballot because I yes, know that helps a lot of that. people. Um, if you, you're kind of trying to see what's going to be on your ballot before you go vote, if you need to vote quickly. Maybe you want to make sure that you're doing your research on the candidates before you go vote. You can go to nmvote.org. Uh, you'll enter your information and you can see your sample ballot exactly as it'll be on election day. Yeah, I, I, I looked mine up the other day. Mm -hmm. um, so when you go to nmvote.org, I believe you click on um, find my registration. Right. You're going to put in your first name, last name, your birthday, your county, and then it's going to bring up your voter profile. Right. And that voter profile is really fun to look at. It shows like <laughs> all your precinct. It even shows your voter history. Yeah. So it shows all the elections that you've voted in. Mm -hmm. um, which, of course, we can't see who you voted for. Yeah. That would be impossible. Right. Um, but we can see which elections you have voted in, which yeah. I think is really cool. It's Just pretty like cool going back, going back and, and seeing everything. <laughs> um and then also there, like Cynthia said, you can look, you can print and you can view a sample ballot that mm -hmm. is specific to you again. Um, and then there's some other really cool things on there. Like if you wanted to, oh, wow. uh, if you need to change your registration, if you moved mm -hmm. recently, yep. changed your name, all those yeah. cool things are on there. But again, that needs to be before October 8th. Yep. So. Bet before October 8th, if you want to update your registration, okay. you can look at your, your, um, your voter profile at any time, like any time mm -hmm. of the year, you can log into that and yeah. see. It's you know, it, yeah, it shows you your district. Um, it shows like all your districts, your school district, water district, um, use congressional district, state district, all the things yeah. it shows you. And it shows contact information too yep. for us. Yeah, or for the if you're from another county, it mm -hmm. shows your clerk and your yep. uh, information to get in, yeah. in contact with your clerk. So And also cool. you can track your absentee ballot there yes. too, um, which is also really nice. So you'll see if we like what day we mailed it out, where it is, which post office it's mm -hmm. at. Um, and then when you send it back to us, it'll show, hey, it was checked in at this post office. It's on the way to um, the clerk's office. And so you'll see, like, you can track your ballot. There's also another tracking, um, what's it called, do you know? Is it Ballot Scout? Ballot Scout is what the New Me state of New Mexico uses. Also, if you want to track your ballot, yeah. Um, so we'll link those two on here, so just in case you need those. Perfect, yes. And we'll link everything here on the podcast and on our YouTube so you can check all of that out. Um, let's see. I also want to go ahead and talk about, we are going to have one day that we're going to be closed yes. and that will be only closed here at the government center. So again, just to remind you, the government center early voting will begin on October 8th and it will end on November 2nd. And we will be closed on indigenous people's day, October 14th. So just, you know, just a heads up. We'll be sure to put everything on our socials, but just a heads up, we'll be closed that day. Um, and then, of course, the like we said earlier, the alternate, um, the expanded early voting locations that will open on October 19th and close on November 2nd. They will be open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. 
another shout out to New Mexico and our, yeah. our great election code and election law because we have 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's not the traditional 8 to 5. Yeah. We're, allow- we're giving people more time at the end of the day. So mm-hmm. when they get out of work mm-hmm. to have more time yeah. to get that the, the early voting hours in. I love it. And people have mm-hmm. kids to take to practice mm-hmm. or other activities. So it yeah. gives you plenty of time to. Yeah. So those really, early. again, those like non-traditional work hours. And then, of course, also being open on Saturdays yes. throughout early voting. That really helps. It does really help just because, you know, it just, it's just people got it's stuff convenient. to do. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and we want people to vote we're very voter friendly state absolutely okay so one last update on everything you know you can find all this information on our website dacelections.com again dacelections.com if you want to register you have until october 8th to update or register um, and you can do that on nmvote.org you can also call our office at 575-647-7428 if you want to go ahead and do that and again on nmvote.org you can register you can update you were you can request your absentee ballot you can also look at your sample ballot um so yeah so feel free to contact us we feel free to also follow us on our social media accounts our team does a great job at posting information there um and reminders and updates and all those really important things so be sure to look at that and remember early voting starts october 8th expanded locations start on october 19th Um, your last day to turn in your absentee application is october 22nd the last day of early voting and the last day to submit an application if you're a federal or overseas voter is november 2nd And of course, the big day, Super Tuesday, Election Day 2024 is November 5th. Yes. It's all coming so quickly. I know. Can you believe it? It's already here. I know. It's here. I feel like we've been preparing. We've been preparing (laughs) and talking about this for a long time. It's finally here. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's it for today. Be sure to follow us on all of our social medias and listen to this wherever you get your podcasts on all the places, Spotify, Apple, Libsyn. Everywhere. Apple. What's the other one? iHeart. iHeart. All the places. Yes, everywhere. All the places. (laughs) YouTube. Yes. Thank you for listening. Thank you to my co-host today, Cynthia Mendoza, for all she does. Thank you to Jacob behind camera and who edits and makes us sound good. And one of these days he's going to put together a blooper reel. It's going to be great. We have a lot of material for that. (laughs) Yes. All right. My name is Caroline Samora. I'm the Chief Deputy County Clerk. Thank you for listening today. And we'll see you next time.